Known for her ethereal voice and the mystical ambiance of her music, Enya created a unique soundscape that charmed listeners worldwide. Yet, despite her massive success, she's become something of a musical mystery. Why has this Irish songstress, who once ruled the airwaves, stepped away from the spotlight? Facts First presents The Sad Reasons You Don't See Enya Anymore. Early Childhood Enya was born May 17, 1961, in Gweedore, County Donegal, Ireland. She was the sixth of nine children in a musically gifted family, and her father was a notable figure in Irish music. Enya's childhood in Gweedore, an Irish-speaking region, was steeped in music and culture. From a young age, she was immersed in the world of music, participating in her first singing competition at just three and a half years old. She also took part in pantomimes at Guidor Theatre and sang with her siblings in their mother's choir at St. Mary's Church in Derrybeck. By the age of four, she was already taking piano lessons, dedicating much of her time to mastering the instrument and balancing her schoolwork. Growing up, Enya and her siblings were exposed to a diverse range of music, often enjoying musical films together. One of her favorites was Jesus Christ Superstar, which she recalled playing every day in her house. At 11, she attended Milford College, a convent boarding school run by the Sisters of Laredo in Milford. Her education there, funded by her grandfather, introduced her to classical music, art, Latin, and watercolor painting. While it was challenging to be away from her large family, Enya recognized the benefit to her music. After completing her boarding school education at 17, she initially intended to pursue a career teaching piano, before ultimately choosing the path of composing and performing her own music. Elusive and Mysterious Prodigy Enya emerged as a household name with her breakthrough solo album Watermark, released in 1988. The album, selling over 10 million copies worldwide, marked just the beginning of her success. She's won four Grammys and was nominated for five more, maintaining a notoriously low profile despite her fame. Her approach to fame has been unique. She's rarely been in the news, leading many to believe she might have retired. But her absence from the spotlight is a choice reflecting her commitment to her music and personal lifestyle rather than a quest for fame. Despite the low public profile, her success is monumental. She is one of the UK and Ireland's wealthiest musicians, with a fortune exceeding £100 million. Her financial success is even more remarkable, considering she doesn't tour, takes long breaks between albums, and grants few interviews. Her music sales alone, totaling around 85 million records, are a testament to her impact on the music industry, a phenomenon often referred to as Enyanomics. While she values her privacy, she does interact with fans on rare occasions, often being recognized by them. Her fans respect her desire for privacy and her understanding of her lifestyle. Her reclusive nature is not absolute, as she does make occasional public appearances and maintains relationships with family members, including spending time with nieces and nephews and shopping with her sister. Her online presence is minimal. She rarely uses social media and checks her email only sporadically, preferring real-life experiences over digital communication. This disconnection extends to her personal life choices as well. Enya has remained single and childless, content with her decisions and the path she's chosen for herself. Her music continues to connect with audiences even during periods of low output. Her song Only Time re-entered the charts in 2013, more than a decade after its release, thanks to its feature in a Volvo ad starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. After a significant break following her 2008 album And Winter Came, she released Dark Island Sky in 2015. She spent this time traveling, renovating her property in the south of France, and visiting family. Her life has not been without challenges. In 2016, her father Leo passed away, a loss that deeply affected her. Despite this sorrow, she continued to honor her commitment to her music and personal values. Her success has allowed her to lead a comfortable and private life. She purchased Aisha Castle in Dublin in 1997, a property with a fascinating history. She lives near Bono and has occasionally bumped into the fellow musician. But her fame has also attracted unwanted attention, including multiple incidents involving stalkers. Despite her absence from the public eye, her fans remain loyal and eagerly await her next musical creation. Retracing Her Roots 
Her musical journey began with Clonut, an Irish band performing traditional Celtic pop meets New Age music. She joined the group in 1980 but left in 82 to pursue a solo career with the help of Nikki and Roma Ryan. Enya the artist is actually a collective effort as she composes melodies, Roma Ryan writes lyrics, and Nikki Ryan handles production. This trio has been responsible for the albums released under the Enya name since 1982. Her early work included instrumental pieces for films and documentaries like The Frog Prince and The Celts, showcasing her distinct sound that blends voice and instruments in an ethereal harmony. Her approach to her career has been unconventional. She doesn't release many singles, rarely performs live, and has never conducted a concert tour. But despite this, her albums have sold more than 80 million copies globally. Her 1988 hit, Orinoco Flow, was a distinct sound that later found itself being used ironically in various media. But its use in the film Eighth Grade in 2018 revived appreciation for the song. Her influence reached beyond her genre, with her song Boa de Sea being sampled in over 50 hip-hop songs. Interestingly, she was approached to compose music for the film Titanic, but she declined as the role didn't align with her artistic approach. Out of the Public Eye Enya's decision to step back from the public spotlight is a multifaceted one, deeply influenced by her personal values, experiences, and lifestyle choices. Known for her desire for privacy, she's consciously chosen to focus on her music, allowing it to be the center of attention rather than her personal life. This preference for privacy is evident in her limited public appearances and interviews, as well as her low profile on social media and traditional communication channels like email. Her approach to family relationships also mirrors this desire for privacy. While not entirely estranged from her family, Enya maintains a certain distance, selectively spending time with nieces, nephews, and her sister, reflecting her preference for a quiet, private life. Her life has been marked by some unsettling experiences, notably with stalkers, which have understandably contributed to her decision to maintain a low profile. These incidents, while distressing, have not deterred her, but rather reinforced her resolve to live life on her own terms, prioritizing safety and well-being. In addition to these factors, her personal life choices further explain her absence from the public eye. She has spoken openly about her decision not to marry or have children, emphasizing her contentment and fulfillment with these choices. All these elements combine to paint a picture of an artist who values her artistic integrity, personal freedom, and privacy above the lavish and ultimately meaningless trappings of fame. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Enya's unique approach to life and music? Let us know in the comments section below.